guys, it's Celia, and I'm here with a self-care routine video with all that's going on with coronavirus. Uh, I just wanted to bring you a video of me, you know, just pretty much doing self-care, making myself feel good, um, look good, and just getting that me time in, like, we all as humans deserve self-care and since many of us are home because you know schools and businesses and things like that are closed down right now and it's best that we're inside i just wanted to show you guys some little things that you can do to make yourself feel good so you just see me right here brushing my teeth making sure they are nice and white um and then i'm gonna go in with some mouthwash as well and you know make sure my mouth and all that my breath is nice and fresh I brush my teeth I just go in with a wet wash rag and wipe off the makeup from my eyebrows and also from my eyes and then I apply some wet water to my face and after that I'm just going to start by washing my face with this Kate Somerville exfoliate cleanser this was sent to me but I've literally been using this for the last couple of weeks I really really like it it smells really good and it's just it's it's made to my bad uh, make your skin softer smoother um and just get rid of impurities and dirt so you just see me working this into my skin and then i'm going to take this little i don't even know i think it's like a skin scrubber i don't even know what it's called i got it from amazon and just work that on my face as well and this helps to really dig deep and get you know dirt and etc off of your face um then i add a little bit more of the cleanser and start you know massaging my skin one last time before i rinse it off So after I pat dry my skin, I'm using the Urban Skin RX Purifying 2-in-1 Pumpkin Pore Detox Mask and Scrub. This is meant to smooth, clarify, and improve the appearance of pore size. And this is my top favorite mask that I have. Um, not only because of the great benefits, but it's self-warming and it just feels so good. So if you're using a tool or if you're just using your fingers, you will instantly feel it heating up on your skin. And I just feel like as a self-care type of mask like that just feels amazing so definitely recommend any of you to try this mask while i let that sit you're supposed to let it sit for 15 minutes i did apply some of this fenty beauty lip scrub um you know make sure i get rid of any dead skin i have on my lips and then i went in with my tweezers and just got rid of any hairs that were starting to grow in uh near my eyebrows so after the 15 minutes was up um, I just took a wet wash rag and wiped off the face mask and then also made sure to wipe off my lip scrub so my face was feeling good, my lips were feeling good. Next, I used my Dickinson's Witch Hazel, of course, gotta tone my skin. Um, so I just used a little cotton pad and applied that. And then after that, it is time to moisturize. So I have been using two moisturizers. I've been using this Glow Recipe Banana Souffle Moisture Cream. This was sent to me and I'm so glad it was because this stuff is so moisturizing. It's lightweight, but y'all, this stuff is really, really, really good. Um, I didn't need a second moisturizer, but I have dry skin, so I just like to, you know, make sure my skin is nice and glowing. So I went on top of that with my L Organics um, Face Lotion, which this is also one of my faves. After that, I applied some of my Clean and Clear Acne Spot Treatment. Now this is more so to spot treat, but I kind of just apply it all over my face. But this is one of my favorite things to, you know, get rid of acne really quick. 
Now the last two things I did was add some chapstick and this is actually a chapstick I made. Um, I had a date at this candle place and we got to make candles and our own lip balm. So my lip balm is good. It's super moisturizing y'all you want to make sure your lips are always moisturized and then last but not least i just went in and filled my eyebrows now of course y'all don't have to do this but i just feel a lot better when my eyebrows are filled in i didn't do anything extra i didn't add any concealer anything i literally just used the pencil and yeah my eyebrows look nice and good so it is time to focus on this hair like my skin is good my face is feeling good and now it's time to do my hair So I decided to clean my body before I washed my hair. And for me, self-care, I always take showers. I know when you think self-care, you think of like a bubble bath and all that, but no, I like showers. So I started with my Summer's Eve Feminine Wash. I know a lot of people don't really care for this, but it works just fine for me. Makes me feel nice and fresh. I have been considering using the Honey Pot. Um, I believe they're black owned and I know a lot of people talk about them. So comment down below your favorite product from them if you use their products. Now I'm using a different washcloth and using this Olay body wash. This is their coconut one. Um, I love Olay body washes. They're just moisturizing. They smell good. I recently partnered with them. So that was really, really cool to work with a brand that I actually use. So I typically would use my loofah the little scrub thingy rather than a washcloth but mine fell apart so i had to do what i had to do so then i just used my shaver or my razor not shaver my razor to shave my armpits nothing else needed to be shaved on this day thank god i hate when i have different areas of my body to shave in the same shower because it just takes forever but um yeah this is a cheap old razor you can get from any drugstore i'm not like particular when it comes to you know what i use to shave now it is time to wash my hair so i'm just drenching it underneath the water because it was blow dried so i want to get it back to you know it's curly state and for me washing and conditioning my hair is definitely self-care like it just feels so good to scrub my scalp to detangle my hair and just have it feeling nice soft and clean so i decided to use the my l organics babasu shampoo this is one of my favorite shampoos it's just um very cleansing but not stripping and i wanted my you know i wanted my scalp to feel nice and clean so yeah and it smells like peppermint So to condition my hair, I used the Camille Rose Moroccan Pear Conditioning Custard. This is a rinse out conditioner and I do have a review on this on my channel somewhere. So I'll put the video down below. But long story short, this stuff smells like Fruit Loops. It smells so good. Um, and then it's just so softening and detangling is a breeze. So yeah, I'm gonna fast forward through that part. But pretty much I just use this to detangle and hydrate my curls. After I rinsed the conditioner out of my hair, it just felt so soft and now I'm just wringing the water out of my hair. So I tried to get as much of the water out as I could. Then I put it into a loose ponytail and from there I put it into my microfiber towel. Um, this is a Turby Twist. I got it from Walgreens. Um, but you can get these microfiber towels any, you know, anywhere that sells like spa places. So TJ Maxx is a really good place to get these. Um, it's good for the hair and then it's just gonna make it so my hair is not dripping all over the place. So now I'm going to begin moisturizing my body. 
So I'm over here trying to be cute, and here's Samaya goes. She woke up, but it's okay. You gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta continue. So I'm using my um, Shea Body Butter from Bath & Body Works. This is the Peach Scent. I love their body butters. I have so many different ones of their of their body butters um i like them because they're not oily but they're super duper thick and moisturizing and i need that because i have dry skin so you just see me you know applying that to my body so last but not least i'm using some deodorant from dove this is like i've been using dove deodorant since probably since i started using deodorant it's my favorite um, after that, I'm using some Ancient Cosmetics Body Butter. Now, I do apply their butters to my entire body, but for today, I just decided to apply it to my back because I have some dark spots. And then also, I have a few dry patches that I want to get rid of, and this will, you know, definitely do the trick. And after that, that is it for my self-care routine. So I'm very, I'm really interested in what you guys do for self-care. Doesn't always have to be, you know, related to your body or skin. It could be reading a book, as you guys see right here. My man got me this book, so I'm going to be reading it and just enjoying my me time.